Yo, 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 the sneakiest raccoon is back for a brand new video, and today we are going to be looking at Hypixel Skyblock. So, this is the world right here. I've kind of just been doing it. And what I'm going to be talking about is kind of um, how I started this, um, my whole thing. And you took a glimpse of it before, um, but I have improved exponentially. So, obviously, this is not what your island is going to look like. Um, now, I was trying to get another account to show you what your island would normally look like. However, in order to do this, you would have to get a new account. Um, and then you'd have to buy Minecraft on that account, so I can't really do that. So, the best thing that I can do is sort of describe what you're going to be faced with. Um, so basically, you'll have a few trees on this big set of island, I believe there's like another rock sort of over there. And the aim that you're trying to do is mine a tree, get a crafting table, all that sort of stuff, and get enough wood to make a bridge over to a secondary island here. Now on this island, you'll find a portal, and you'll also find two other things, which is a jerry. Now the jerry um, gives you any deliveries from any friends or... Um, um, any updates you would need to know of. It also gives you this guy, a cobblestone minion. Now I've had this guy from the very start and I have just been upgrading this guy like crazy. He is one um, stage away from being fully upgraded, which is insane. Um, and then Around about here, you'll find um, a big portal um, that's similar to another portal, and when you go through it, it'll take you to the hub. Now, the reason why I removed this was because I was wondering if I should put it here or make another area where I can make multiple portals, um, but I've just been finding it easier um, to go to the hub by just typing slash hub, and then you're away. You're in the hub, and that would be what would happen if you go through that portal. You will have access to a huge, huge area. Now here, you'll um, if you just started out and you have no idea what the heck is going on, you're going to get very confused. Um, so I'm going to show you what the first thing you should do is. The first thing that you should do is unlock this guy right here. Now this is the bazaar, so what you need to do is that um, you need to unlock skills. So when you have set um, skills, you can um, get better items and all that sort of stuff. But I believe you need to get your mining level up to level seven, your farming to level seven, and your foraging to level seven. If it's slightly wrong, then I'm sorry. Um, but either way, I know it's those three um skills that you need to work on. If you go all the way back here, there's the bazaar, the portal is just right here, you, there's like this little building over here. Now if you walk over this way, you will find a whole area filled with oak trees. Now this is why I don't have any oak trees on my island, I just get my oak, tr I just get my oak from here. Um, so here you can unlock um, all your um, farming experience and get all the way up to level 7. And once you mine a little bit of oak and you get to skill 1, I believe, you will have access to this island here. Now this island is filled to the brim with every kind of tree except for the nether trees. Um, so it's got birch, spruce, dark oak, acacia and jungle. So once you get up to level 1, you'll have access to birch. At level 2, this jump pad unlocks, and you'll have access to spruce. Level 3, dark oak. Level 4, acacia. And finally at level 5, you'll have access to the last one, which is jungle. And that's how you can get every single kind of tree. As you level up your foraging experience, you'll be able to get access to more trees. So that means that you can harvest whatever kind of tree that you fancy chopping. So, for example, if I wanted to chop down a whole bunch of oak for um, a, um, a house build you want on Skyblock, you can come here and get all the oak you want here. Um, now you might be wondering what happens to all this um, when you chop it down. 
Well, it's actually incredibly simple. After a while, it's um, it spawns back. Now you can do this with any axe, really. You can uh, make a wooden one and you can start doing this, or you can go to the mines um, to get a better axe, which we'll talk about in a moment. And then we can just wait here for a little bit, and then this log should reappear again. You see, it actually wasn't that long that this came on, this this came back. I'll be totally honest. I started the timer a little late, and um, that the timer was only four seconds long. However, it does show that these can respawn very quickly, so you'll never run out of oak wood unless if you have a whole bunch of pros stealing. All your wood then that will be a problem so I've only mined that one log or now obviously you won't have as much wood as this because when you're leveling up your foraging you will also get something called um, foraging fortune so it's like um, fortune um, but it's on an axe so you get um, more wood when you chop down a tree so right now I've got um, um, foraging fortune 64 at the moment but if you're just starting out you'll be all the way down here so you will not have as much it'll probably have like 20 or something like that but either way you can come to um, this guy or any of the NPCs and you can sell your oak wood and I got 92 coins from that there we have access to um, a bunch of axes that you can buy and these will be a lot better than a simple wooden axe, or you can start working on your next one, which is farming, where you can quickly get a rookie hoe. Now the rookie hoe makes it so that you can get a whole bunch of seeds, and it's more likely that you'll get a bunch of seeds, and it's only 10 coins, um, however I've never actually used it because I'm not planning to make um, a manual farm at this moment. Um, but what I've just been doing to level up my farming experience was just doing this. I've just been using my hands. Now, this is probably not the best thing to do because, well, you can get a hoe, you can put a whole bunch of enchantments on it, and you'll get a whole bunch more from it. And that's probably a lot more efficient, but I've just been doing that this whole time. I've just been in this giant wheat field, just getting experience, like just like that. And at level one, apparently, you get to, um, you get access to this island, which has a giant wheat farm, and more. In fact, it has got chickens, pigs, sheep, cows, and up there you've got your carrots and potatoes, and over here you've got your melons and pumpkins. So you actually have access to a whole bunch of crops that you can use. And at level of five, which you can get really easily, you'll have access to this, which is basically unlocking a whole bunch of stuff. First of all, you unlock sand, you unlock sugarcane, you unlock cocoa beans, you unlock sheep. Sheep is the only... Sheep and rabbits are the only mob that aren't on that island. But you'll find it over in this area, and there's also a whole sheep area over there as well. You also have access to cactus here. And also in this cave here, um, if you go exploring a little bit, look, there's the gate right there. Um, but... There's a whole bunch of mushrooms for you to farm. And you can get mushroom minions and all that sort of stuff. And like with the trees, you can sell all your crops to just some random NPC and get a whole bunch of coins from this. Now on your first run, you're definitely not going to have as much on the, as, on the right side because my farming fortune and foraging fortune, that's right, there's actually fortune for farming now and also fortune for foraging but don't worry the fortune for um mining is still here so for mining i would recommend just going to this miner merchant and getting um one of these pickaxes probably a promising pickaxe and then you start mining in here you can you have access to only coal and cobblestone. At mining level one, you have access to the gold mine, which is basically just an upgraded version of this. The main thing that you'll be looking for is well down here, 
the first thing that you should do here is talk to this lazy miner. And what he'll ask um, for you to do is to find his pickaxe. So he's um, lost his pickaxe in here, but he's too lazy to try and find it. Now, if you find it, you get a free pickaxe, and it's actually a really good pickaxe. Here, you will also get iron, and if you move deeper into the cave, you will start seeing gold. And there, you can actually sell it for um, quite a bit in your beginner stages. So I won't tell you like the exact location, obviously, but I will tell you that it's right next to a wooden column, I guess. And it's also very, very deep underground. And this is actually quite a nice pickaxe to have at the start of the game. When you're at mining level five, you will then have access to these, the deep cavern. Now, once you have access to the deep caverns, you will have basically a better gold mine. This is, well, where you get gold iron, you'll have the same resources as the previous um, mine. However, there's two differences. One, there's a whole bunch here, and also there are creepers in this area. If you, um, at some points, if, you, if you're in here for too long and you're mining away, then a creeper will sneak up upon you. And um, it's actually quite, um, like, I don't know any other way to find creepers, if I'm totally honest. So, um, yeah, if you want to stay up here and grind for creepers and quickly get the experience, then that's good. Now here's what the bazaar is. The bazaar is um, an area where you can buy basically anything. Now, not just, um, for example, if you wanted a whole bunch of cactus, it's not just cactus you can buy. It's also enchanted cactus green, green which um, I believe is just um, a whole bunch of cactuses mixed together. Uh, no, that's, that's a bad thing. So, for example, if I wanted a whole bunch of gold, I don't just get gold, I also get um, enchanted gold or enchanted gold blocks. Now, enchanted gold, one enchanted gold is the equivalent of two and a half stacks of um, normal gold. And that's the same thing with an enchanted gold block. Um, one enchanted gold block is the equivalent of two and a half stacks of enchanted gold. So this stuff can get pretty expensive. So um, obviously, these um, these gold ingots they they're incredibly cheap. You can easily get them. However, if you just have um, a whole bunch of minions like you saw at the start, you can easily do that. Um, however, um, w once you do that, um, you you'll probably get to a high enough experience level where you can get um, the enchanted version of that. So you've got a cobblestone minion, then you'll have access to enchanted cobblestone. Um, once you're at that level, um, I would recommend saving up for this. Um, not a compactor, a super compactor. Now, you look at the price at the moment, it's going to look daunting. However, this has saved me lots of time and this has improved my the productivity of all my minions. Um, every time I've gotten one. It is a necessity. Now, obviously, I have to admit this, but I did kind of cheat this level because my friend is probably in his late um, stages in this game. He's He's got um, a whole bunch of stuff. He's, at, he's a high level at everything. Um, and then he gave me um, a gift of guess how much? 2.5 million coins so now that's a lot and apparently he's got a lot more than 2.5 million so the first thing that i did was get the super compactors and i was able to get a whole bunch of money back instantly so when you're at this level there's basically two things that you can do one you can craft absolutely everything yourself um now, the reason why I'm doing that sort of way is because, well, I want to learn. Because this is, I'm new to playing Minecraft on computer, so I want to learn how to, like, grind for certain resources. Obviously, this is not the same, but but this also makes, the heck, this also makes it easy to tell 
um, how strong the mobs are. So you can see their health, you can see how much damage your sword does. Um, that's It's a bit harder when you're just playing a normal survival world. So that's why I play this and I grind on it so often. I want to learn how to basically play Minecraft and I've started using a few different techniques here and there, which is good, I'm learning. And also because it's, I just, I just prefer, it's like very fun. However, most people like to go with, oh, I want to get the best stuff early, then um, I can grind, I don't want to grind for it. I don't want to spend lots of time on this game. Well, the good thing is that there's something for you. You can come, come to here. Now this is the auction area. So here, you can... Here, you have access to a whole bunch of stuff you can buy. But here you can buy a whole bunch of stuff. Now some of the stuff you will not have access to unless if you get um, a certain level in something. So for example, mining. Um, you, um, if you want to like buy like a very strong pickaxe, sometimes you'll have to get a high mining level. So I don't use this very often, like the only time I've used this is so that I could buy this very strong raider axe. Now the only reason why I've done that is because I don't know how to get one myself, <laughs> so... <laughs> but yeah, yeah, um... I was planning on grinding for um, one out of two swords. I was thinking of either getting um, a zombie sword, which means that, which is actually a pretty good amount of damage. Um, probably about close to the same as the, the Raider's Axe, and this gives healing. However, with the Raider Axe, if you grind for a long time, so if you chop a lot of trees down and get lots of, or get lots of kills, um, you can increase its damage from that, which is pretty cool if you ask me. But then I was also thinking of, I was also thinking of the iron, um, no, not, not a block, um, the golem sword, that's right, um, which does, um, a high amount of damage, not as, m not as much as the raider's axe, but still pretty good amount of damage, and it's got a pretty good, um, ability, but then it has one problem. So it's got like enchanted iron blocks. And like I did an example with the gold. It's pretty much the same with the iron. And then and then I was just thinking of like. Um, I was then like. Uh, um, scouring around like the internet. Trying to figure out. Um, what was like the best weapon. To have. But. Yeah. Um. They, they recommended um, the Raider's Axe as a good we weapon to start off with. So I was like, yep, I'll get that. And I've got it. And that Raider's Axe is really good to have. Um, it now means that um, I'm now strong enough um, to actually damage some mobs. So first thing that you should do, get the Bazaar. Um, which is mining, foraging, and farming, which is easy to do. You don't ha really have to um, unlock um, damage. There are a few things um, that you should do, and that is to unlock minion slots. So once you, uh, once you have access to a minion, make it. And then make a chest over here. And just fill it to the brim with a whole bunch of minions. Now the reason why you're doing why you should do this is because you're getting minion slots. Now, um now to get um uh, more minions on your island, you need to um you need to unlock new minions. Now to unlock new minions you have to place you have to place them down and you have to upgrade them. So this oak minion, for example, would have started at level 1. I would have to craft a level 1 oak minion. But then, once you upgrade it, you're unlocking new minions. So, um, you're... Now here, I've got an extremely wide range of different minions. I have four mining minions here. I've got five... Um, Oh no, four um, hostile minion stuff. I've got a wood minion over there and 
um, two farming minions there, and I've also got a chicken minion here. Now, the reason why I've got a wide range of different stuff is because I can easily um, upgrade um, different minions. And then um, I can get more minion slots, and then I can get more minions. And another reason is that so that I can earn experience. Now, um, now each one of these minions can do lots of things. So, for example, in this game we have talismans, which are basically like small power-ups. Okay. Um, so one thing, um, but then to, to actually use your, um, talismans, you have to get a accessory bag. Now the accessory bag is only, you can only get it until you get a high enough level on this redstone minion. And that's why I have a redstone minion here so that I can upgrade my, um, accessory bag. I have a lapis minion here. Because he focuses more on getting more experience, so um, th the lapis minion can give you ta um, gives you a talisman which increases the amount of experience you get, but also gives you um, the recipe to making um, bottles of enchanting. Now, probably the final thing I will say in this video is that you need to get an enchanting setup. Now. <clears throat> There are two ways to enchant. One, you can get an enchanting table, or you can get an anvil and put enchanting books down. However, I prefer the enchanting setup because it's easier to get the books and you're not wasting resources on making the books. All you're doing is, um, all you're doing is getting experience. And at the moment, because of the lapis minion, it's easy to get experience. And also, um, when you, um, you you seem to use that more often. Um, so when you do that, you'll soon get this, which, <clears throat> which is, um, a way to increase your enchanting level. When you go to enchanting, it increase, it, it gives you new enchantments that you can use, but also it gives you more experience from any source. So right now I'm at an insanely high level of experience right now, but that is my tutorial. Now, the things that I would recommend is one unlock the bazaar that's your number one goal two unlock minions that's the quick that's the quickest way you're gonna get a few resources um and get all those minion slots three get a enchanting table which is just down there um because then you can enchant your weapons and you can get a whole bunch of strong enchantments then you'll have access to that table over there um Three, actually find a weapon and armor set that is useful for you. So, at the moment, this axe is really good at this moment. I do not want to change it right now. However, I would love to change this armor set. In fact, that's another thing that I should say. Um, whatever you do, do not get this armor set of a golem armor. Now, the golem armor, um, if you, you might have noticed this throughout the whole video... But, um, when I ever I kill something, so I'll just drop into these zombies right here. You get, you see I get absorption hearts. That is what, um, this armor does. It gives you absorption hearts whenever you kill something. And whenever you kill something, it, it um, it resets the cooldown. Which is pretty good. However, the defense at the moment is just not living up to the standard. And it's health. The health is okay, but it's just not the best at the moment. And, obviously, you level it up through iron right here. But look at how much you need. You need 10 enchanted iron here. Now, remember that 1 in ingot is the equivalent of 2.5 stacks of normal um, iron. You just keep looking at that. That's that's just stupid. Eight and ten enchanted iron um, for each set um, to be the equivalent of just um, a single iron ingot. Like that's just stupid. It's way too expensive. However, how do you enjoy the video? 
If you want to see more Skyblock, then please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, so that you don't miss any new videos, and also leave a comment down below to tell to tell me um, what you would like to see on this channel. I'm trying to come up with a whole bunch of ideas for you guys to look at, but I'd love to hear what you would want to see. And it's time for the sneakiest raccoon to sneak off.